now, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Again, for those of you uh, just tuning in, this is Krios. Krios VR. I got it right. Oh, okay, we're back. <laughs> got a lot of tech going on uh, to put to bring, deliver this high quality production to you uh, all. All remotes. Locally. No one is in the yeah. same room. Me and uh, Nightfire, five thousand miles apart. It's actually quite wild. Really so, social distance. So he's starting out really well for a map. I'm assuming that he didn't pick out. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think I think he would get the first map. Getting those quads, Ooh. as you call them, easily, but he's got a whole bunch of uh, still targets he's got to take down, and he's got to hit them in time. I saw three miss there. He's going back for him now, and that's time invested that he can in be using back. here to take out this big line. Does manage to get through it in a quick little single there. You did see him miss some beat notes early on, so that is kind of an indicator that he's not as practiced, perhaps, in this map. Uh, it is one of the uh, newer additions yeah. to uh, Pistol Whip, so, you know, reason that's, enough there not to be 100% practiced. Ever. That's what I said. Uh, I was talking to Matt about that. That's what I would do. I'd be practicing the newest maps and bringing those out because everyone else wouldn't be as practiced on them. That would be my wild card, and I think that's what he did, why he chose Akuma. Even though Lilith is his favorite map, if he wants to win, if he's practiced on this one good, that's what I would have done. Yeah, and he doesn't need no fail modifier for Lilith if that's his favorite. He, he has it honed in. He knows how to dodge those bullets. He knows uh, what to avoid. This is smart. It's, it's, it's no surprise that we are seeing new songs come in uh, with the no fail modifiers turned on because they want to guarantee that they get through these new songs too. Uh, to have a fail on your scoreline, that's going to be a death sentence. Yeah, pretty much. You'd have to sit there and cross your fingers and hope that the guy who plays right after you fails. The real tough thing would be like, uh, I would think if you were set, you set up where the first player didn't fail at all, and then you failed in your run going second in the round. That's where you'd start freaking out. You're like, oh, it's over. Right now, he is working his way to the end of this map, has to hit those quads in time and not run out of ammo. He has to manage his ammo as he tries to take these spots out to try to rack up as many points as possible because he knows Matt's going to bring the fury on this map since he's selected this one. Yeah, this is interesting. I really am curious to see how Matt does on this because we have seen some missed, uh, some missed units there. He's hit a couple of shots off beat. And, you know, we're not going to see perfect run. I, I would be surprised if we saw a perfect run in a live, uh, you know, tournament scenario. It's not the same environment that they've been familiar with, so they're certainly getting kind of put into a bit of a different position in terms of the pressure that they're under Ooh. right now and oh, oh my god he goodness, almost missed villain. that one gotta work with, oh he's giving us a little dance now he's getting oh, into man. it that's what we like to see the more excited they are generally the better they play as long as they don't lose focus Ooh, barely got on that one he knew that was coming this is the excitement that we like to see from pistol whip also known as pistol wick in uh john wick fan circles when you really figure out the uh choreography that the map designers were intending that's when you really feel excited. Granted, you're winded when you're done, but you feel excited and get yourself some really great footage using Live for Mixed Reality Capture. Yeah, that's how you're getting this incredible view right now uh, with him basically dancing in the level. This is delivered to you by Live. And write that down, 221,579. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. That's right. So that means well, we're going we're gonna to talk about some stuff while we wait for Matt to set up. But uh, we have really good runs, I think, from uh, Krios. I'm going to get yes, that right. Get I'm going to keep trying. You did. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, a fan uh, I mean, solid performance there. I didn't see a single modifier get knocked down. He didn't get touched once. So that means he's got the time sake going the whole time. If we see uh, Matt here get tagged even a single time, that's the if he round. Gets tagged, yeah, his, his, I think Cree, uh, no, Chris, Matt, what he's going to end up having to do is make sure that he hits more targets. Because we did see Krios had to give up yeah. some of those targets. And I think yep. Matt, if he selected Akuma for specifically this reason, he should know where they are and kind of have figured out some of the timing. Uh, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to see. I mean, stress also plays a factor in uh, competition. So we'll have to see how people uh, respond to stress as well.